So patients with recurrent ovarian cancer have a very poor survival. Um, we have learned from prior clinical trials that immunotherapy uh, can have a very good benefit and prolong survival in patients who have melanoma or lung cancer. So we are hoping to enhance the survival of our patients who have recurrent ovarian cancer. So we came up with the combination of these three drugs um, using this immune checkpoint inhibitor to activate the T cells using the anti-angiogenic medication, Avastin, which has already been approved for ovarian cancer patients and has shown some responses in recurrent setting. And we hope that the combination of these two drugs will even help the immune system to recognize the cancer cells better. And then we added the third drug because we have known it from prior clinical trial that oral cytoxin and bevacizumab work really well together. It's a really well tolerated treatment. Most patients have very minimal side effects and these two drugs enhance each other. We know that the majority of the patients with ovarian cancer will end up recurring at some point in their life. Thus, it makes a lot of sense to try to enhance their immune function and um, to teach the immune cells to recognize the cancer cells before the disease comes back again. So our hope is, uh, rather than using traditional cytotoxic or chemotherapeutic agents that have a lot of side effect and minimal improvement in survival is to try to teach our own immune system how to recognize the cancer cells and how to keep them under control or kill them completely before they start developing new lesions. So with this clinical trial, we do a lot of additional research and biomarker analysis. We are also collecting stool samples, uh, skin samples, um, and um, some vaginal samples throughout this clinical study because we believe that some of the bacteria that lives in our body has a lot of chance to improve our responses to immunotherapeutic drugs. So this is a very new ideal. This has not been tried in prior clinical trials and we're the one of the first site to take a look at the, the combination of bacteria in our guts and our chances to respond to immunotherapeutic agents.